Hi, I'm Dave from DUI, and I'm here today to show you something we get asked all the time at Demo Days how to do. It's how the heck do you put on your dry suit with your gloves already attached? And uh, it's a piece of cake, and um, I'll show you how right now. Uh, so you want to reach on inside your dry suit and pull out the suspenders. Every DUI suit has suspenders, and uh, it just makes life a whole lot easier. And you just make sure the X in the suspenders is facing back, and step on into it, get them out of the way, step on into it, just like you would a regular pair of pants. This time, if you also have a P-valve installed, you want to make sure your P-valve hose is out of the way, and uh, just go on, climb on in. Okay, so the seat's on, we'll pull up all the fabric, don't forget your suspenders, gotta have those on. We're getting warm pretty quick out here in the sun, so let's go ahead and get on into our suit. Um, don't forget, your hands are free and clear to do stuff right now. So now is a good time to take care of things like the neck seal. Or, hey, what about your hood, too? That's another real easy one. So, with your suit on, you just zip your suspenders all in place. Grab the sleeves, and uh, kind of like you're about to jump rope a little bit. You just want to sit down into the suit and feel it pop all the way up. Well, now your zipper's right here behind you. There's your zip seal back there for your neck. And you can simply just sort of glide everything in and slip on in. So once neck. the neck seal's on, you can ignore the top of it and just focus on the bottom. Pull on these loose bits of latex right out here and it'll actually unroll your seal for you, making it nice and flat all the way around. Well, while our hands are free, let's go ahead and put the hood on. Uh, and the easiest time to do it is right now. Um, you know, it works great if you're on a rocking boat, something like that. Uh, keeps things out the way so you can get your hood tucked in. You don't have to go ask for help because that probably is a self-donning suit. So, slip the hood on. All organized. Get the hair out, tucked in, that way you don't have to worry about it when your gloves are on. Uh, and then go ahead and just tuck the hood, uh, your, your warm neck bib right here, into the warm neck collar. And uh, if you pick up on it, it actually makes life a whole lot easier. Give yourself a quick tuck. Just like that. On to the next step. You'll take your dry glove liners. You want to keep these nice and dry. You don't set them down on the deck of the boat, or on the bench of the boat, or at the dive site. Someone's going to get them wet. You want them to stay dry. So go ahead and store them right here in the zipper of your undergarment until you need them. Now, when it comes time to using them, well, it would be pretty obvious that you pull them out, you put them on, uh, and get it on into your suit. Just don't forget, zip it up so you don't have a cold spot. So now that your hood's on and all organized, Little liner, everything set. And you're going to slide your arm up inside the suit. I've heard different rumors about, hey, is it easier to do the left hand first or the right hand first? At this point, I'm not really sure. Um, it's kind of personal preference up to you. Uh, I've seen both ways. They both seem to work out pretty well because the suit's got room to do all this stuff. The more, forget the more you lean over, the easier it is to get inside. So there's the glove on. Tuck on in there. Oops, we go. Lean over a whole bunch, it's a piece of cake. Get the glove all organized with your nice pair of hand, very simple. And done. Next glove liner. Here we go right there. And just tuck your elbow underneath the zipper. And right up into that sleeve right there. The more you lean, the more room you have. strap is done up, gloves are on, hoods on, we're ready to go, neck seal's all straight. We're just going to close the suit up now. We've got the zipper chain nice and close together, makes it easier to close. This is a, uh, a classic zip, which means it zips top to bottom. Uh, your other suits most likely are going to be a quick zip suit, which means it zips bottom to top, so you can see and make sure that it's all the way closed. So there's my zipper here, zipper handle, right there. Give it a little tug. Close that all the way down to the rubber stopper. We'll hide the extra little handle inside. And then we'll close the external zipper out here. And the key, this one, the easy way to make it happen to close easier, pick up on it when you're closing it. It'll actually help to pull the zipper chain close together on the overlay and make it easier for you to get in. So grab your zipper, little fob right there, pick it up. 
that was a great dive. It's actually a pretty easy thing to do. Just grab the fingertips, pop the glove loose, and then you actually just reach around behind, grab your own glove. Out you come. Off comes the glove liners. Again, with your hands free, just grab the very, very tips of the fingers and pull the glove off. And out you come. Don't forget, if you're walking on the dive site, you can put your nice dry gloves right in there. They're taking care of you on the last dive. Just take care of them between dives. Uh, so they're ready and stay nice and dry for you for the longest time possible. Um, that's pretty much it. Thanks for listening and uh, have a great dive.